I think drawing, even at, at uh, its most basic level, it, it's, it's kind of like doing um, scales for the piano, even though what I do in my daily life uh, is painting on the computer and painting in color and painting landscapes. Um, it's almost like your, your eye-hand coordination. It's so important and it's so important to have both the tactile feel of pencil on paper, but it's also, um, to me, it's, it, it connects with the base thing of, I think, of what art is all about, especially for me. I mean, like I was saying, that to me, the, the most important part or the beginning of my art career was in drawing people. And to me, I think that that's maybe my touchstone or, or anytime I feel like I'm lost in my career or lost in my art life, if I go back to drawing people, um, that's what I think kind of reconnects me to my art. It's what makes me happy. It's something that I feel like I'm, I'm competent at. But it's, I mean, I find it funny because even when I tell students, even if you don't do art, in your professional life or you're doing more graphic art rather than fine art, there's so much comfort that you can find from getting back to drawing a human being or drawing something that you love to draw. It makes, I don't know, it kind of makes life worth living. So it, it, it's one of those things that I just always, um, even with some of the artists that I work with, for them it's some of their favorite parts of the week is to go back on Tuesday nights from 6 till 10, we, we do the long pose and we, you know, and we draw people. Because I like to draw people, um, that was kind of what I got known for doing. And, um, but it was funny, University of Leeds was more of an abstract art university and so I wasn't really, uh, I wasn't the... <laughs> considered to be the best student at Leeds because my work just was different than, than what they were teaching. And in fact, I remember one of my, my tutors said, uh, he's he was, he was like, he was like, Paul, it's like uh, 20th century never happened to you, did it? And, um, and yeah, so I think uh, the, the skill set that I had from drawing people actually helped me doing storyboards, even though I didn't really know screen direction and I didn't know uh, camera lenses and uh, all the different types of shots that you could do but because I could draw people I was able to sort of not bluff my way in but just at least I could draw people and and a lot of times um, even directors or other people will give you little thumbnails they'll give you little stick figures and so even like on episode one what I was doing was doing more um, finished drawings based off of little thumbnails that had been done by other people. Just about on every film with, with, at, at, at Pixar, there will be some photographic elements that, um, that I'll be doing. I mean, especially um, Up and Incredibles were very photograph heavy. And um, I like them because they're like mini matte paintings, but they're not... Um, Definitely not solo in that um, you can sort of see that there was you know, a beautiful concept, uh, quick sketch done by, I think in this case it was Ronnie Del Carmen. And then after that, uh, an animator has posed a model. So, I mean, it's gone through quite a few people, maybe, maybe 10, 15 people before it gets to me. But then for me, you know, I'm just taking all the work that other people have done and then I'm, you know, turning that into to a final painting. And the same thing was done with Incredibles. There were very, there are a few paintings that I, I, I did, you know, completely from scratch. But, but yeah, an image like that was um, me adding a ton of stuff. But, um, but Bob, Bob was, was um, he was a 3D model. He was um, posed and lit. Uh, we didn't have, all we had was Helen, Mirage, and Violet. And so I had to put, they were all posed, but I had to put hats on them and little hair things. And then I thought I'd put a lot of photographs of Mr. Incredible and banners. So it was, um, 
it was definitely a collaborative effort, but I mean, it's, I think, you know, in, in a fun way, everybody had made the cake, I was just doing the icing, you know, so it was, the hard part was done, but I was just sort of adding the elements just to get it to the final, the final bit.